So what exactly is comping? Well, comping is compiling, which means taking a bunch of different tracks, picking the best parts out of each one and turning them into one track. So I'm gonna show you how we can comp vocal tracks here in GarageBand on the iPhone or the iPad. So let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today where I help you create, record and release your best music. And if you've ever tried to record a complicated vocal part or maybe a guitar part and you can't quite get it right every single part, every single bit of the whole track, well then comping might be something that you want to explore. And in this video I'm going to take a recently recorded vocal track where I did four separate takes all of which were not quite perfect, and I'm gonna comp them together into one complete track. So let's jump in to the iPhone now, into GarageBand, and take a look at the comping process. Okay, here we are, friends, in GarageBand with our one, two, three, four tracks of vocals, and we're gonna comp these together. But the first thing you might be thinking is, Pete, isn't there multi-take recording here in GarageBand? Why wouldn't you use that? Well, there absolutely is. If you tap on the mixer icon here and go to track settings and recording, you can actually turn multi-take recording on. And I have done a video on this. I don't actually use multi-take recording for a number of reasons, mostly because I just find it very fiddly, because you record it all on one track and then you've got to try and work out which is track one, two, three, and four. I actually prefer to have my own tracks like this laid out and then actually copy and paste to comp my tracks together, which is a method that I'll be showing in this video. But if you do want to check out the other way using multi-take recording, then check out the video which is linked up the top there and down in the description. But for now, let's jump in and show you the comping method that I use for this track here in GarageBand. Now, the first thing you may have noticed is that these vocal tracks have some pretty peculiar names, right? So the first one here is called Vox Best, uh, Last Note Flat, Bridge Terrible. So this is my note. So what I've done is I've gone through and I've listened to all four of these and I've actually made some notes. So this one is quiet at the start, a little flat, bridge and transition good, last note, something. And I've cut it off there. Uh, this one is flat at the start, levels inconsistent, uh, early in the final chorus. So I won't want to use that in the final chorus. And the last one is soft at the start, and the end is terrible. So don't use that for the end. So this is something that I can do. I was just out and about. I was listening to these tracks and I was just taking notes and working out which ones I should use for where. So instead of going, you know, which one do I use for every section? I now know that this top one is going to be my best version. So this is what I'm going to use for the majority of my track. And then what I like to do is anywhere where it's not quite right, I'm going to go through and sample the others. What you could do is go and sample every phrase, all four different tracks, and work out which one you want. I don't want to do that. That's a waste of my time. So I'm going to take this track and then put this on my master vocal track and then go through and any part that is not right, I'm going to go and find the best alternative take and bring that into my vocals. So let's create our master vocal track and go in and comp these vocals now. Okay, now I've just adjusted the volume of my vocals down a little bit here, but you might be thinking, what is this song that we're recording and we're mixing here? Well, this is a song that I've been working on for the last few weeks. You might have seen a video a couple of days ago about a bad recording session that I had. Yeah, that was this song, but I've since today had a better recording session. So I've recorded some guitars here that are ready to go. I've got my one, two, three, four vocal takes, and I've even got some sort of beatbox style bass and a drummer track here but we're focusing on the vocals here at the moment. So this is my best vocal, so let's just take a listen to what the song sounds like right now. Across the road and never even look one way I always seem to know the perfect thing to say And I don't even wait So sounding okay, we're doing fine. Now what we want to do to create our master track is we want to tap on here and we want to go duplicate and this is going to give us a duplicated track here. We're then going to tap and drag this to the top. We're going to tap again and rename it. And let's delete all of this business here that we have because we just want this to be Vox and then Master because this is our Master Vocal Track. We'll hit Return and then here we go. So what we want to do is we want to take the best parts from these one, two, three, four tracks and put them on this Master Track. Now, as I mentioned before, what I like to do is actually copy this entire track and then put this over here and paste it in so that we've got a bit of a starting point. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is that the effects that we have on all of these tracks are exactly the same. So I've already come in here, so we'll show you this one. 
I've already come in here and set some effects. So I've got my compressor going on, I've got some delay, I've come into the plugins and EQ, and I'm also using some master effects, some e echo and reverb on this track. And all of these are the same because we can't compare these if one has a lot of compression and one doesn't. So that's the other thing. If you don't have these all set the same, you can duplicate your tracks and then move the audio. So if, for instance, I wanted to do a duplicate here, I could then grab this and move this audio up to here, and then that would match that one. But I've already done that, I'm already ready to go. So let's undo that now. And now what I wanna do is I'm going to listen through I'm just gonna have my Vox master track enabled here, this one here, and I'm gonna listen through, and then any time that I'm not satisfied with this track, I can come in and choose from any of these three tracks, and I'll show you how we can combine or compile, cop these tracks together here in GarageBand. Now, I think the first verse is actually okay, but I'm gonna play it back and just take a listen. Now, it's only a two minute song, so don't worry, we're not gonna be hanging around here for a long time in this video, but I'm gonna play back and let's just take a listen and make sure that this vocal is sitting right. Now, what I'm listening for is more around the tuning, the timing of the vocal. Uh, if there's sort of some loud and soft and some variance there, we can fix that with some automation. So I'm not too worried about that. I really wanna to listen to the tuning, so my sharp or flat, or are there any parts that are out of time? So let's take a listen to this first vocal take. I cross the road and never even look one way I always seem to know the perfect thing to say And I don't even wave at other cars when I pass by Don't have the time, you know I'm such a special guy And all my friends are telling me that I should be ashamed but I'm not even listening cause I'm never to blame Yep, so I'm pretty happy with that. Let's come to our second verse now and take a listen and make sure that this is also okay. Now there were probably bits that I could do better, but again, not that we're not going for perfection or that we're going for as good as we can, but let's not get caught up in things that are not, you know, 100% there because it's it's pretty close and um, there's no guarantee that the other three takes are going to be any better. But let's listen to this second verse and see if there's anything here that we might want to replace. I spend a fortune but I never pay the tab. I just don't give a damn about when I make people mad and I throw my fellow humans under buses. Okay, so the throw my fellow humans under buses, this bit here seems to be a little bit crispy. You can hear that there's a little bit. Let's just listen to that again. I just don't give a damn about when I make people mad and I throw my fellow humans on. So I've got a bit close on the mic there. So what we can do is we can come in and let's just, that's the other, that's the, that's the original one. Let's take a listen to a few more versions of this. People mad and I throw my fellow humans under buses. So that was probably worse. So we probably don't want to go with that one. Let's try our next take. Humans under buses. Throw my fellow humans under buses. That one's about the same as the first one. And let's go to our final one. People mad and I throw my fellow humans under buses when I can. So that one's probably a bit better, but is it going to sit with our vocal? Well, we need to find a spot at the start where we can cut it and then a spot at the end where we can bring it uh, back into our original vocal. So let's just try and see if we can find that spot by zooming in here and taking a look at what we can do. Now make other people mad and I throw my fellow humans up. I just don't give a damn when I make other people mad and I throw my fellow humans under buses when I can. Okay, so there's our spot. That's the end spot that we can bring it back in and then we can tap there. We can tap on this, we'll tap again, we'll go split, we'll drag that down and then we need to find the bit that we can do at the start. So I don't think it's all the way back here. I think it might be, oh, I might be all the way back here. I stand a fortune but I never pay the tab. Yeah, so let's go, it might actually be this bit here that we can do it from. So let's tap and split that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this section here. Let's just play this bit back. I just don't give a damn when I make other people mad and I throw my fellow humans under buses when I can. So it's a little bit quieter, but hopefully you can hear there that it's actually a little bit uh, better in terms of the actual performance than what we had in our original version up here. So we're gonna do the same thing on this one. We're gonna go split. We're gonna split there. We're gonna line this up with our next one. We're gonna tap, we're gonna go split again. And then 
all we need to do is remove this bit. Now, you'll notice here, the reason I've created the master track is I've left this one intact. If we want to go back, sorry, tacked, if we want to go back and bring this one back in, we can do. But for now, what we're going to do is we're going to delete out that bit, and then we're going to tap this one. We're going to tap it again. We're going to go copy. We're going to align our playhead up the front here, and then we're going to hit paste. So now our master track is already a comp now of these two tracks. So let's take a listen now. We'll take that off solo. We'll go back to our master. And let's take a listen to this transition now that we've pulled in this alternative vocal take and see what this sounds like all together. I spend a fortune but I never pay the tab. I just don't give a damn when I make other people mad. And I throw my fellow humans under buses when I can. It's doggy dog out there, so why not man eat man? And so you can hear there that it's a little bit softer, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave that in there for now. Now, when I come to the mixing process, I'll use some automation and I'll try and bring that up. Now, if it doesn't work, well, we won't do that. If it doesn't work, then I can go back and I know that my best take here is ready to go. So that is going to be my fallback because I know it's not too bad. It just has that those, those harsh S's and those things in there I didn't want. So that is what comping is all about. We're taking a piece of an audio from a different take and we're combining it with another take and the beauty part is that as long as you're doing this where there's a gap like this in the vocal it's almost seamless you can't tell the difference that if you're recording and making sure that you've got the same mic placement the same settings as your first take then you can do this across all of your takes now the other thing i've got here is that it says here that the bridge is terrible and that the last note is flat so let's take it to the bridge and find out what i mean by that and see if we can without actually moving everything around see if we can fix up this bridge section and this last note so we'll find our bridge which is after this part here we'll come in and take a listen to the bridge people tell me that i'm such a selfish little man but they're just jealous of the way i get just what i want and everyone is saying i'll regret it in the end so I'm going to have to have the entire bridge and then right up to there. So you can probably hear that, that anywhere I cut it before there is going to sound really unnatural, right? So what I need to do is I need to put it in this gap here, which is just before this one here. So I probably need to put it like on the quarter there, around about there. So we're going to do that. We're going to split it. And then we're going to have to find a better take of this whole section. So let's find the start. Now, once again, uh, my vocals are a little bit quiet here. So uh, you can see the waveform isn't great. I could use normalizing to actually increase the, the waveforms here, but they're okay for the rest of the track. Uh, and I haven't done that here. I've got a video about that. If you want to normalize your volume of your tracks to make the waveforms bigger, you can do that. It doesn't make a lot of difference, but it just makes it easier to edit. So yes, I probably should have done that before I started this process. Anyway, let's just take a listen to the version as it is now again, and then we'll go and we'll uh, audition some of these other versions. And people tell me that I'm such a selfish little man, but they're just jealous of the way I get just what I want and everyone is. So you can hear I'm almost distorting there on the what I want. So let's just try this with another one now. Bridge terrible, uh, whoops, that's the original one. Uh, a little flat, bridge and transition, good. Okay, so here my notes have actually helped me. So what I'm gonna do is let's listen to this part and see if I'm actually right, if the bridge and the transition are good. Let's play this back now. And people tell me that I'm such a selfish little man, but they're just jealous of the way I get just what I want and everyone is saying I'll regret it in the end. So that's not bad. Let's just try the other ones while we're here because we have other versions. We'll play our third version. And people tell me that I'm such a selfish little man, but they're just jealous of the way I get just what I want and everyone is. Yeah, I'm way too early on the what I want there. So we don't want that one for sure, but let's go our last one here. And people tell me that I'm such a selfish little man, but they're just jealous of the way I get just what I want and everyone is. Okay, so I think the one that I thought was good is going to be the winner here. So let's just show you this one. One more time we just come here we do our split down there we find the next section now this one isn't right on a bar so we're gonna have to be very careful with this to make sure that we split it 
at the right section like that. We come up to our Vox Master, our master track here. We tap it, we delete that one. We tap this one, we copy it. Let's light up our playhead, we'll tap it and we'll paste. So now let's just listen. We'll come back to our Vox Master as our solo and just make sure it's gonna transition back into our vocal. I'll regret it in the end. They keep saying commas, catching up with you, my friend, and I don't... Yep, that's pretty good, so I'm happy with that. You can see here that we haven't done a whole lot of cuts here. We've just used a couple of different sections to get ourselves one vocal take that we're hopefully going to be happy with on this song. So that is going to do it for this video. I will be returning because we have to do our final mix on this track and then we're going to be mastering this track as well. So I do have a version that I've done, which is my early mix which I've got out there, but I need to actually continue mixing this and then get a mastered version done because I, I'm liking this song now. I like that I've gone back to basics and I've kept it simple and I just need to finish off, mix it, master it, and then release this song, hopefully in the next few days. But thank you for everyone's support and for helping me. And I hope you found this video useful and that you can use this sort of comping method to get better vocals in your songs. And there you go. As I said, it's not something that I do on every track and it's not something that I recommend doing all the time, but it is an option that you have up your sleeve. If you've got a complicated part, you can't quite get it right, you can record multiple takes and you can pull those together into one comped track that is going to be the best of all of those different takes. Thanks for watching. If you've got any comments, questions or suggestions, you can leave those down in the comments below and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for sticking around once again. If you'd like to watch some more videos, there are two of them linked down below that you might be interested in, who knows? And you can also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right or head over to studiolivetoday.com for more audio goodness.